That girl seems to have the perfect skincare routine, the perfect amount of steps, the glowing skin, and not just on her face, but on her entire body. The that girl aesthetic has taken over TikTok and Instagram and yes, YouTube. And today I wanna show you how to get a that girl skincare routine that doesn't have the toxic positivity or the toxins that so many of the that girl skincare routines claim are in non-clean skincare routines. Most of the that girl skincare routines cost somewhere between $500 and $900. And I have a whole bunch of products that make up an entire routine that together are usually under 20 bucks or even 10. But before speaking about what goes on the face of that girl, we have to speak about who that girl is and how she got here. That girl is not me, but it is that girl that we all want to be. That girl that we see on social media with her perfect skin that's usually filtered. That girl who wakes up early in the morning and yes, she drinks her matcha latte and her carrot juice. It's that girl that practices intermittent fasting and goes to Pilates classes. And yes, where's the Fitbit or the Apple Watch? She's the girl that we all aspire to be. Now that girl has also come under major criticism of living a perfectionist lifestyle, something that's unattainable if you weren't born into privilege or wealth or the body shape to participate in these trends. But there are some counter arguments saying that the that girl aesthetic is just about being the best version of you. Who doesn't want to meditate and journal and try to improve themselves? And I think that that's something that nobody can argue with, right? But when we look at what's perpetuated on Online, this idealistic form of beauty, specifically that's shown on TikTok and Instagram and social media. The that girl aesthetic is very difficult to achieve without rampant consumerism, lots of money, and if you notice, all of the that girl routines that seem to show up in most people's feeds only show one body type, one predominant skin color, and usually don't have blemishes or acne or feature people who do have flaws or pores on their skin. Criticism to the that girl aesthetic is that it is unattainable, that it's unrealistic, and it's kind of like toxic positivity meets goop wellness culture, and you just put it on TikTok in the year of 2022. Many critics say that it's healthy habits, but that they are taken to the extreme, and it's almost ritualistic and very exclusionary. And those who do have the that girl status often gatekeep it and don't let people with acne scars or different hair textures, or even people who don't have a $500 skincare routine participate. But it's true that self-improvement and wanting to do better is not a bad thing. Taking care of our mental health and, you know, eating and drinking well is arguably good for everyone. Heck, I enjoy my matcha latte every now and again. But we should be able to pursue a better version of ourselves without feeling excluded for our skin texture or our skin color. We should be able to do that without having to spend hundreds of dollars on products or workout routines. And we should be able to do that in a way that isn't gatekept or idealized or filtered on social media, which is why I decided to create a skincare routine to kind of combat the other that girl routines that we see on social media that just seem to be so costly and unattainable. So let's start out by breaking down what a typical that girl skincare routine actually has in it or doesn't. <clears throat> foreshadowing. The That Girl skincare routine definitely has a Tata Harper product or two. And while Tata Harper is not a terrible line, they have a lot of greenwashing and a lot of very, very expensive products. This cleanser is almost $90 and they call it a micro foaming cleanser. What, what does that mean? Just like tiny foam bubbles? Like, please, please elaborate. <laughs> Apparently it's non-stripping and it's meant for react stressed skin, even though it has a lot of plant actives that could arguably stress or cause reactions in skin. It's free from 85 skin stressors, and whatever that means, I don't actually know because it's not a regulated or standardized term, but they also go on to say that it has no beta hydroxy acids, no soy, no wheat, no gluten, and that it's a skin safe trusted source, whatever that means. It's a very expensive green bottle that that girl absolutely uses twice a day. One of the main ingredients in this cleanser is calendula, and instead of 89 bucks, this one is about 20. This is from April Skin. They're a K-Beauty line that is fantastic. And this cleanser is quite fun to use. When you put it on, it coats your hands and then it does turn into this micro foam, this micro lather. And I don't know how Tata Harper and that girl define their micro lathers, but for this cleanser, it basically means that it has these tiny little bubbles that clean the skin without irritating. And based on the ingredients, I would actually say that this is less irritating to most skin types than this or many other of the Tata Harper products. But you know that that girl doesn't always read her ingredients. She might look at the front of the bottle, but we need to turn and learn to find out what's actually in that marketing. And there is no better time to do that than when it comes to essences and toners, specifically SK2. SK2 is a very luxurious Japanese beauty brand. They have Patera, this fermented extract inside of their products, but is it actually worth $90? If you have that kind of money, 
feel free. But if you're looking for something that is very comparable, that's even more hydrating to skin, and it's $22 from K-Beauty, I would recommend this one from Jin Jung Sung. I find this soothing skin essence to not only be comparable, but to actually be better. It has a bit of a thicker formula than the SK2 one, and it hydrates supremely while also nourishing the skin. It has fermented ingredients. It also comes in this nice frosted glass bottle, which just looks so cute on your countertop because yes, that girl has a insanely organized, completely clean, no toothpaste splatter on her mirror countertop. And I, I don't know how she does it. And yes, I, I would like to be that girl that doesn't have toothpaste splatters in her bathroom, but I'm sorry, oral hygiene is a priority for me. And um, that's what happens when I brush my teeth. Outside of hydrating essences, that girl also likes to exfoliate responsibly, which shockingly enough, she actually does. She avoids St. Ives walnut scrubs and Kylie skin walnut scrubs, not because she knows that they can be too aggressive and cause micro tears in the skin, but because the internet decided to hate them and everybody hates them. And therefore when she looks through TikTok, she sees that people hate them. And that girl does like to follow the trends. That girl likes to use the solution from Glossier. This is a PHA, very mild, gentle exfoliating toner in a beautiful shiny pink package. And I will say, I love this product. This is an excellent toner. It's a little expensive. It's closer to 30 bucks, but it doesn't actually break the bank. However, for those of us who maybe are on a tighter budget and are looking for skincare that just works and doesn't cost as much as a Glossier, the Inky List has a PHA toner that is fantastic. This is about one third of the price for one less fluid ounce, and this PHA toner is very, very gentle on skin. Just the way Glossier can be used, this can be used every single day. And depending on which aesthetic you want and how much money you want to spend, these are both good choices. But that girl definitely uses this one. And um, this girl definitely uses this one because, you know, I'm not going to spend more money than I have to, okay? <laughs> also, many of the that girl routines that I've seen online or on YouTube have a lot of Sunday Riley products. We're talking the Sunday Riley eye cream that blew up on TikTok. We're talking Sunday Riley's good jeans. And fun fact, I actually got a random a box at my doorstep that contained Sunday Riley's good jeans. I opened it up. I looked at it. They actually changed the inner packaging to be more eco-friendly, which is great, but it's still like 89 bucks for just lactic acid. I'm like, why? Sunday Riley's good jeans serum is arguably pretty good. Yes, it's like 85 to $95, but it's a nice lactic acid serum in a beautiful bottle. But if you're looking for the benefits of lactic acid, being a humectant and a gentle exfoliant, again, we got to talk about the inky list. Even the ordinary has a lactic acid and both of these are under $10. These are gorgeous on the skin and they can still give you a wonderful hydrated glow that makes you look like you just worked out and did yoga and like, you know, drank a matcha green tea double mushroom type of smoothie, okay? Which again, we all love to do. I just don't understand how someone can do that every single day. Trust me, I've tried. I am obviously just not that girl, okay? But the lactic acid is one of the best ways to go for its skin benefits when it comes to hyperpigmentation, exfoliation, brightening of the face. And if you don't wanna spend so much money on Sunday Riley, even though they are cruelty-free, this is a cruelty-free dupe that doesn't actually scam customers by posting fake reviews to Sephora. If you didn't know, now you know, allegedly. Allegedly. Now, that girl absolutely loves Glow Recipe. And I will say, freaking who doesn't? Glow Recipe is an amazing brand. They have these beautiful packages. They smell so good. They are an American K Beauty brand, and they definitely have the That Girl aesthetic. I've seen them in probably at least a quarter of the That Girl TikToks. But at the same time, this is like a special purchase, and most people, including myself, can't afford to have an entire Glow Recipe cabinet of literally every single product that they use every every single day. These are like special little things that you add to your routine when you got a paycheck or something nice. This isn't a fruit market that you're just, you know, stockpiling in your kitchen, or I guess in your bathroom, technically. The Watermelon Glow Sleeping Mask is one of the best. It does have fantastic ingredients. It's exfoliating and it's brightening, but it's also $45. And while it's a great choice, so are some other ones from Trader Joe's and Sweet Chef. A lot of people don't know about Sweet Chef, but Sweet Chef is actually Glow Recipe's little sister. That's right, they're made by the same people. They're very, very similar to the same company, although they do have different branding. And Glow Recipe is all about fruits and berries, whereas Sweet Chef is all about their vegetable counterparts. This right here is the Beet Plus Retinol Nightly Firming Mask. And this is not only a great option for skin, but it provides very similar, if not even better results than the Glow Recipe Watermelon one. It doesn't smell exactly the same, because again, the main ingredient in here is beets, but it does have a very, very candy-like scent. And it does have retinol, which is fantastic for skin. 
skin. The texture is also more creamy, so it's not as almost like liquid candy the way the Glow Recipe one is. But if you're on a budget and you're looking for something that actually works, this is a great option. Now, what if you don't even want to spend the 20 something bucks on the Sweet Chef? Baby, I've got one for you for $6. This is from Trader Joe's. This is the watermelon overnight face mask that yes, you can use as a moisturizer or an overnight mask. This is legit a straight up dupe for Glow Recipe. I think the main ingredient difference is that this one doesn't have seaweed, but they both have hyaluronic acid. They both have exfoliating acids. They both have AHAs. They both have fruit and watermelon extracts. Extremely, extremely similar in both the way they smell, the way they feel, and the way they look on the skin. That girl also uses eye cream, and not just any eye cream, but the $140 Dr. Barbara Sturm eye creams. Why? Because science! Even though there's arguably not a ton of science in the Dr. Barbara Sturm line, even though she is a doctor and dermatologist and very, very brilliant, might I say, her products are extraordinarily overpriced. I like just take a doctor's name, put it on a luxury product and charge a ridiculous amount of money for it. And voila, there's the recipe for a clinical luxury brand. The Dr. Barber Sturm eye cream has macadamia oil and yeast. And while these are good, they're not necessarily amazing or proven in the under eye area to do miraculous things. If you want something that does have yeast and macadamia, there's an eye cream from Pyongyang Yule that is again like 25 bucks. It has fermented black tea that's good for the eyes. Or honestly, just use an eye mask. These are like push-up bras for the under eyes. These are from Pacifica. They're just a couple of bucks and these actually have ceramides. These are these jelly patches and you can use these under the eyes or on your smile lines. And these actually act as little push-up bras, putting mechanical or physical pressure under the eyes to help with puffiness and under eye bags. And on top of that, these have ceramides and peptides and marshmallow that actually help to nourish the eye area. And we know that our skin needs and uses and loves ceramides. So let's actually give our skin stuff that it already produces and already needs and already uses instead of just being like, here skin, have some macadamia nuts and yeast. I hope you like it. And if you're really obsessed with using an eye cream and want one that's actually from a dermatologist, Dr. Sandra Lee MD. This is one of the eye creams that I actually like. It doesn't break the bank. And this is the Night Light Retinol Eye Cream. Again, it actually uses medically, scientifically proven ingredients like retinol that helps with fine lines and wrinkles and hyperpigmentation under the eyes. So if you're looking for something to depuff, stick these in the fridge, then stick them on your face. And if you're looking for something for fine lines and wrinkles and actual color, Use this one. This is fantastic. Now you know that this would not be a That Girl skincare routine if it didn't have a Goop product or two. The That Girl aesthetic is like the TikTok version of the Gwyneth Paltrow wellness essence that, you know, spends lots of money on things that are not proven to work and then mixes it in with some toxic positivity and like an Apple watch that tracks your heart rate, which as someone who tracks my sleep and my heart rate, again, I do understand wanting to be a better version of yourself. I just don't think it should be exclusionary or, you know, fueled purely by consumerism. Goop has this Goop Jeans face oil for 90 bucks that is ridiculously overpriced. And of course it's toxin free. And it's like, might as well just say it's chemical free, even though literally everything is made up of chemicals. So a counterpart that instead of 90 bucks is 20 bucks and filled with great chemicals, like antioxidants for your skin, is the Sunday morning antioxidant oil serum from Verst. This is not only a fantastic serum to give your skin an antioxidant boost that actually helps your skin, supports it from environmental damage that Goop loves to claim is like destroying our skin, even though Gwyneth Paltrow doesn't know how to properly use a sunscreen, but she's worried about environmental damage. Okay. And I must say, this is one of the most beautiful products I've ever used. When you shake it, it becomes this beautiful emulsion and it absorbs so nicely onto the skin. And yes, it does give you that goop glow without the goop cost or the pseudoscience. This is such a good one. And this even looks like something that that girl would have in her skincare routine. It's just much more logical, both price wise and marketing wise. Oh. And that girl almost always uses Drunk Elephant, but not as directed. Remember, Drunk Elephant is the brand where the elephants aren't drunk, the founders are, because they say that you have to use their products and only their products in order for the line to work, which um, not only doesn't make a ton of logical sense, but it doesn't make a lot of financial sense either, especially when one of the most popular Drunk Elephant products is their Marula oil. Now, every single one of their products is built on Marula oil. Every single product in their line has Marula oil in it, but one of their most popular is indeed just straight up marula oil that yes, they charge 68 bucks for. <laughs> Do you know what The Ordinary has? Literally straight up virgin cold pressed marula oil 
for 10. The Ordinary's original founder, Brandon Truax, rest in peace, he actually got into fights with Drunk Elephant about the price of their marula oil, which is why he made his for 10 doll hairs. But the Ordinary's marula oil is fantastic and cold pressed, and you are literally saving yourself six times the amount of money. That girl likes Drunk Elephant because she saw it at Sephora, or she got it in her birthday bag, or she just wanted to spend the money on it. But those girls who like to turn and learn their ingredients, use products that work for them, and that don't cost a ton of money, definitely reach for the Ordinary. Like, I'm so sorry. Even formulation-wise, it looks, it feels, and it absorbs as if it's the exact same thing. Now, that girl doesn't use sunscreen because toxins, which is um so sad, so harmful, and can we please educate those girls to help them understand why sunscreen is so important, why it's literally an anti-cancer drug, and why it matters more than all of the other products in your skincare routine? Yes? Okay? Good! We're on a social media mission today! But when it comes to an affordable and logical That Girl skincare routine, we do need to include sunscreen. And the best sunscreen that you can get is one that works for you, one that you're going to reach for regularly and enjoy applying often, if not every day. That could be the $11 Black Girl sunscreen from Target with avocado and jojoba. That could be the Isentree Watery Sun Gel with Hyaluronic Acid and SPF 50. That could be a mineral formula, like even the one from The Ordinary if you really want to rub it in. There are a lot of great choices and the best sunscreen is the one that works for you. And there are some that girls who use sunscreens. I've seen a lot of them start reaching for the new Glow Recipe sunscreen, but I also don't understand how that works because that Glow Recipe sunscreen balls up if you put it over anything else. Like unless you just use it with literally nothing else underneath, it pills and balls up. So a lot of these people on TikTok were like, this is my 25 step routine. I was inspired by Shay Mitchell and um, I just finished up with my Glow Recipe sunscreen because sun care is trendy. Good, keep using the sunscreen, but how is it not pilling up on you? Like that, that does not make the sense. Like one of these things does not belong. <laughs> That girl also uses $400 skincare devices. And listen, if you have the money, use the $400 skincare devices. I do use and love the new face. I wanted to hate, but I tried and I buyed and I loved the Nurse Jamie roller. It is really, really good. And it's way better than the Jade ones. But does that mean that you should spend a hundred plus bucks on some of these tools? Absolutely not. And if you're trying to get a That Girl skincare routine that actually works for your face, please don't just reach for something like Gua Sha, but actually understand where it comes from. You see, that girl picks up a lot of these tools and like rubs them on her face and is like, oh, this feels so good. Not really understanding how to properly use them or even the history behind them. Because did you know that gua sha is not actually a stone? Gua sha, those words actually relate to an ancient Chinese medicinal practice. Sometimes it even involved bruising the skin and it has centuries of history and of culture tied into it. And unlike that girl, we actually do our research. We understand and we respect these things from other cultures. And when we purchase them, we A, don't have to spend an arm and a leg on them, and B, we actually buy them from brands or companies that pay tribute to and respect the history or have people that are literally descendants of it. If you didn't know, now you know. Now, I didn't realize that this was such a thing, but uh, yep, that girl uses hand creams. Now again, the that girl aesthetic, we normally see it on people who are like 16 to 25. And it's okay to want to be that girl at any age, even though the trend on TikTok is much more exclusionary and will make you think that you can't be out of that age range just because of what's portrayed in that form of media. However, you can be your own version of that girl at any age. And apparently even the that girls that are super popular from 16 to 26, they're using hand creams. Why are they using hand creams without sunscreen or without retinoids? I, I don't actually know, but if they need it, go for it. Just don't spend ridiculous amounts of money on them. I've seen one or two that girls using expensive hand creams that it kind of looks like they may have borrowed from, you know, their mothers or their aunties or even their fancy fathers or older siblings cabinet. But if that girl uses a hand cream, then we've got to talk about them. But instead of just reaching for fragranced moisturizers that people are slapping on their hands, our hand creams actually have sunscreen or retinoids that actually do work. If you want a very bougie kind of hand cream, cream. The Jane Iredale actually has an SPF hand cream that is really good. I currently keep that in my car. I have like car skincare. Don't make fun of me, okay? I literally have car skincare and then like gloves and hats and like ear warmers for when I go out on my walks at night. Yeah, the Jane Iredale hand cream is really, really good and it protects you from the sun if you're not wearing your UPF protective gloves. But instead of buying Gwyneth Paltrow's $25 Shea Butter hand cream, our That Girl routine being the best version of ourselves, both skincare wise and for our 
our wallets, includes a hand cream that's $13 and that has retinol. We know that retinoids are the gold standard in dermatology. That's for our face, for acne scars, for hyperpigmentation, for fine lines and wrinkles and scars. Yeah, that's great, but you know that it also works on other areas of the skin, including the hands. It is true that the hands are some of the first areas to show damage because they're almost always exposed to the sun. I guess they show aging more than other areas of the body, which again, aging is a privilege. Not everyone gets to do it, okay, okay? But if you're looking to fight the signs of aging, why not use ingredients that are medically and scientifically proven to do so? This is the retinol hand cream from Beauty Pie. It is hydrating, it is moisturizing, it doesn't leave a greasy film on your steering wheel or on the other things that you touch throughout the day. But this hand cream also has retinol in it, so it actually helps with the fine lines, the wrinkles, and the sunspots that eventually show up on the back of our hands. I'd recommend using the Jane Iredale one with sunscreen during the day and this one at night, but full stop transparency, if you really want to, you can literally use your face retinol or your face sunscreen or your body sunscreen and just put that on your hands because it pretty much does the same thing. And if you're confused about that, go watch the video we did on our hand creams just as bad as eye creams. <laughs> that girl also uses lip masks. It's usually the Laneige lip mask. If you want a really fancy lip mask, the Bite Beauty one, the Agave one is fantastic. Dr. Sam also has a great lip mask, but both of those are pretty expensive. Honestly, if you look at the ingredients, most of those lip masks have petrolatum jelly or petroleum jelly. This stuff is vegan and cruelty free from Salimo and it's like $4 on Amazon. Look at that, I have 10 years, a whole decade of lip treatments right here and elbow treatments, fun fact. And it works for your cats and your dogs if they get chapped noses. If you didn't nose, now you knows. <laughs> that girl also drinks her lemon water in the morning. She makes her matcha and her carrot juice. And again, I am someone who loves matcha. Dr. Dre got me to buy the peak matcha things, which is what this is. And I will say they are really good. They are expensive, but they're worth it. But does that mean I'm going to beat myself up in the mornings that I get a very sugary soy peppermint mocha from Starbucks instead of one of these? Or when I sleep through my 5 a.m. alarm? Or when I forgot to journal and I just fell off the bandwagon for three days? No, I'm going to try to be a better version of myself, but I'm going to do that while embracing my acne scars. I'm not going to rely on these filters and I'm not going to feel the need to spend literally $500 to $900 on my skincare routine. I am going to assess myself. I'm going to respect myself and I am going to be a better version of me without creating this idealistic beauty standard that is often gatekept by people on the internet. And if anyone really has tried to do those that girl routines, how did that work for you? Like, is that literally anyone's life? Like, even with these celebrities with their 58 step skincare, like, I just, I want to know because I have tried for the last 29 years of my life. And let me tell you, it has not worked for me. <laughs> oh, it has not worked for me. Also, how is it always sunny? Like, do they just live in constant sunland? Like, do they live in LA? It's a very LA thing to be that girl. But you know what? We're gonna be this girl instead. We're not gonna spend a ton of money while doing it. Let me know your thoughts on if this trend is a really good way to improve yourself or if it is toxic positivity. And let me know what you think of this budget version of the 10 and $20 options as compared to, you know, the 90 to 150 products in the That Girl routine. Overall, always remember to be beautiful both inside and out. And I can't wait to see you in this next video. Love you guys. Bye.